Okay, so uh, need code practice time. In this video, there are two goals. The first goal is to see how to solve this problem, and then you're going to put some code here. And the second goal is to see how to behave in real interview. So let's get started. Remember, uh, really in the real interview, the first step is always try to understand the problem. And uh, if there is anything unclear, please bring up the question. And uh, at the same time, think about some ash cases. So let's take a look at this question. So it says, missing ranges. You're given an inclusive range, lower, upper, and they sorted unique uh, integer array nums where all the elements are in the inclusive range. So number x is considered missing if x is in the range lower and upper, and x is not in the nums. Okay, so return the smallest sorted list of ranges that cover every missing numbers exactly. There's no element of nums in, uh, there's no, there's no element, there is, that is, okay, so that is, no element of nums is in any of the ranges, okay, and the each missing number is in one of the ranges. So each range A and B in the list should be outputted as this. If it is not equal, if it's equal, just a single number. So let's take a look at the example for this one. Lower as zero, upper as 99, we have those numbers in the nums, and we will return the output for this. Um, yeah, so I think it totally makes sense to me. And also, let's see some constraints. So the lower and upper, make sure, okay, it's for sure that lower is smaller or equal to upper. And that the input nums could be empty. Okay, so I think we could consider the empty array uh, as a, as a uh, ash case. So if it is empty, then we just return lower and upper. So lower, upper, so each num is within lower and upper and all the values of the nums are unique. Okay, it sounds good. Um, so uh, the only edge case I can think about is what if the num is empty? So it's empty, we don't need to do any further processing. Instead, we just need to return the range uh, defined by lower and upper. So the next part is about finding a solution. So how to solve the problem? So um, I think what we could do is we could do a linear scan uh, for, for the array. So for example, uh, how to do the linear scan? Let me give you an example. Let's say we have, we just take this as an example so lower is zero, high upper is 99, we have the array something like this. So we will keep two pointers, two of the pointers. So the pointer for the start and the end. So start and end. Start and end both point to, uh, both define as lower. Uh, but l l let me just uh, change it a little bit. So let's say we have S and N both uh, define as zero. Uh, zero. So it, suppose we have those numbers in the array. Um, so every time we first try to move the end pointer uh, to a corresponding number uh, in the array. So if we see that uh, the start is not equal to end, then it means that uh, we have some missing numbers. So currently s equal to zero, e is equal to 1, so we know that 0 is missing. So we are going to add uh, the 0 into the into the result. And, um, and uh, when start is not equal to the end, then we are going to set s as end plus 1. So now s is equal to 2. So we then we, we then we try to move the end pointer to the next one, which is three. We see it is not equal again, so we are going to add two into it, which is a missing range. And uh, we see that, um, and we try to move. We and then we will set the start pointer as end plus one, which is now it is. Uh, so now n is 3, so n plus 1 is equal to 4. So we set start as 4. 
and then we move the n to the next number which is 50 and uh, we see that uh, 50 is not equal to 4 so we are going to generate 4 to 49 into this array and then you so now oh sorry and is uh, 51 and we set the start as n plus 1 which is 51 so then we move the n to 75 and we see that start is now equal to n then again we are going to add the 51 to 75, 74 into the array so so on so forth until we move out of the range so when e is out of the range um so and then when we move out of the range uh there's still something we need to process which is the ending stuff so uh, we are going to see if the end of the element is equal to upper. If it is equal, then we don't do anything. If it's not, then we are going to add a sp do a special processing for the for the for the ending. Uh, so here we do a special processing to add seventy six in and the ninety nine to the range. So that's pretty much how I want to solve this problem. So the runtime is going to be linear. Uh, so uh, which is all of n and it's a uh, length of the input nums array so next part let's do uh, some coding work for this uh. so for coding don't be too slow and of course uh, care about the correctness and the readability of the code as well so um, let me define a helper function so let's say private uh, void let's say add a uh, Ring. Let's say add range. So add range, we will define the lower, the upper, and also the list of the string, uh, which is ranges. So if uh, lower is equal to upper, then we are going to say ranges dot add. Uh, I would say this is we would just add a lower uh, plus this <laughs> or maybe integer dot to string dot uh, to string huh right. um, otherwise uh, I will uh, add and then uh, return Otherwise, if it is not equal, then we are going to add ranges dot add a, uh, integer dot uh, uh, to string. Uh, this is lower plus. Um, okay, so this is a arrow, and then the integer dot to string, which is the upper. All right, so that's it for the add range helper function. Um, so the next part is about movement. So we will have, okay, so if nums.length is equal to zero, which means it's empty, then we are going to do, uh, so, okay, so first of all, we need to define the result. Let's say the ranges, missing ranges. Um, so missing ranges dot uh, add a, uh, no so it's not like that you just need to call add range uh, lower and uh, upper and uh, missing ranges and then we just uh, return the missing ranges Otherwise, uh, it's a general logic. We have the start pointer as lower, in start as lower, and uh, in n as uh, uh, as lower as well. So um, we are going to say mm, okay. So in or maybe we can just maybe I'm thinking if we should directly uh, if we should uh, directly what if like we have n to iterate through the nums 
So if that's the case, um, I would say, first of all, we just to compare if start is equal to end. Uh, if it is equal to end, then it means that uh, we don't miss the, we don't miss the, uh, let's say, so if, it, if start is smaller than end, then smaller than end, then it means we have some missing ranges. So we are going to call the add range. So the add range, uh, lower is the start, upper is end minus one. Uh, and also the missing ranges. And then, um, we are going to say, okay, start is equal to end plus one. So that should be it. And uh, finally, uh, when we will have another comparison to say if start is smaller than the uh, upper, then we are going to have call the add range on top of uh, start and uh, upper and then finally return the missing ranges yeah so uh that's it uh so after we're, you're done with coding please do some testing um so testing let's start with some simple example to do some sanity check let's start with uh, the the one i introduced before let's say we have this and uh, we have the start defined as zero and uh, for the first one and is equal to one so so we are going to call because start is smaller than end we are going to call add range zero zero and missing range and uh, next time we, call, we set start as two um so we and the start now the end is equal to three so it's still not this the same so we are going to add two into it we set start as four at this moment similarly we had 40 49 and end is equal to 50 now start is equal to 51 and then we add um uh, 51 to 74 and we set the start as 76 uh so uh actually at this moment we end the for loop and we see that start is smaller than upper um so we are going to add a 79.99 into the range so i think everything should be good uh let's give it a shot yep so it's accepted let's give it a submission Okay, so it's wrong answer. Let's see why. So it says that uh, if if the input is minus one, and you have defined the minus one to zero, then actually expected is uh, we just return zero. So let's see why. So we have the start as equal to lower, and uh, we have the so so start is equal to minus one now and we see that uh, within the array we have the minus one so at this moment start is equal to n so we are not going to add anything but we are going to add a start set start as equal to n minus one okay so it should be actually it should be smaller or equal so if it is smaller than or equal, then I think we should be able to solve this problem. Because essentially start is set as n plus one, which means this number is actually not uh, included. So, okay. So this time is good. Let's do a submission again. Okay, so now we fix the bug. So that's it for uh, this uh, question and the solution. If you have any question about the uh, solution for the puzzle, uh, feel free to leave some comments below. If you like this video, please help subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.